A up, I'm a not on them last, and we've just arrived at Montsel Trail Car Park in Bakewell. So excited to see the Montsel Trail and explore everything. Let's go. So right behind me is an old railway station, and this is the railway track which I'm on right now. <laughs> That's well cool. It's so busy today here in Bakewell because it is a Saturday. I mean, what do we expect? There's cyclists, there's people, there's children. Yeah. So I had to take a jumper off because I was absolutely boiling. It's like really breezy, but really hot. It's lovely. Just walking along, I want to go see some waterfalls. So we've arrived at another car park on the trail, which is Hassop Station Car Park. You could park here. This is such a cute place to go and get a coffee and a cake. Really, really cute. So that was Hassop Station. It was opened in 1862 and it was on the Derby to Manchester section. It's not really fitting because there's too many cyclists, too many people, there's a main road and it's just nothing spectacular yet. <laughs> Yeah, she's right. What is the fuss about? This is no different to our local country parks, which we find pretty dull. <laughs> it's just a bit boring. Is it six miles to the waterfall? Deb's not happy. No, I am happy. I've just, you know, you've got one day off a week and you want to go somewhere amazing. And you, and you end up here? And you end up here with a million other people and the traffic yeah. is like Blackpool here. <laughs> I thought there'd be lots of, sort of industrial buildings as well, you know, from... We might get there, Industrial there, buildings from the Victorian era. I mean, if I was a cyclist, I wouldn't want to come here because you're dodging and diving people. Yeah. And the people are being come to move over for the cyclists. It's just a bit of a chaotic state, really. I mean, look at this. Just going to turn up and show the camera a couple. Oh. So we are going back to the car now because there's nothing really to see. We want to go see the viaduct and the waterfall, so we're going to get into the car and go and find that. So, just witnessed an accident. A kid went straight into someone on their bike, straight onto the floor, way too dangerous. It's just too busy. bite to eat because we're kind of fed up we're kind of hungry i think we'll find the viaduct and waterfall bearable if we have something to eat first we have found it but we've decided to go and get some food first we are at the pack horse inn and it's really nice in here it's so empty got my nice pint of coke living life so this is their first day reopening and it's very very nice in here and i've just ordered the curry of chips, vegan curry though. That was absolutely delicious. Mm. This is the car. <laughs> quite hard walking back up this but we'll see how it goes I'm currently standing on Viaduct Bridge so it's built in 1863 on the Derby to Manchester section of the Midland Railway the viaduct's 300 feet long and has five 50 foot span arches making it one of the most impressive viaducts in Britain now interestingly enough, when it was built, John Ruskin, who was a famous poet at the time, he criticised its construction, saying that it destroyed the landscape and the beauty of the landscape. And now it's, you know, one of the major sort of tourist attraction selling points of the countryside around here. 
I wonder whether in a couple of hundred years time people will be saying that about HS2. There it is, there's the viaduct. How beautiful does that look? Wow, and we are also in a field of cows. It's not every day you get to walk for a field of cows and cows are literally my favorite animal. So this is very, very exciting. This is my first time walking through a field of bulls. Apparently you've got to like, you know, show that you're in charge, keep your head up and they won't bother you, you know. Just don't be horrible to them basically. OMG! I think this path should take us to um, the top of the viaduct again and then hopefully we'll see the tunnel which we're all dying to go in but if not then we shall see what happens <sighs> So we're off to the tunnel, which we missed when we got to the bridge because we were so excited about the actual bridge. So yeah, let's go and see what the tunnel was all about. The tunnel was lovely, very, very nice, very warm in there actually, considering it's a tunnel. Now we're just on the steep and sharp walk back up 
It's the Monster Head Hotel, where the car is parked. What an amazing day it's been. If anyone has any recommendations on places I should visit, please comment below. I love anything. Like, the list is so long right now of places to visit. I'm just in love. I'm always out here every week. It's great. Monster Head was, um, was actually really, really nice at the end. The start was a bit weird. It was just a bit too uh, busy and didn't really seem like much was going on. And then we kind of went back to the car, you know, found you know where the actual postcode was for um, the viaducts and the waterfall so we went there and beautiful couldn't have been better went for something to eat as well now we're gonna go and try and get a drink maybe so yeah it's been a really nice day So what a great end to the day. This is a great little pub. Very, very cute inside. Love it. <laughs> so yeah, if you enjoyed this video, comment, like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Watching the sunset over the viaduct. It's beautiful. <laughs> Just our luck. The sun has gone behind the clouds. No sunset for us tonight. Look.